Okay, hello everyone. How is everyone on this Sunday evening? To God be the glory. Thank God for another day and another week. So, I wanted to talk about debunking the Godfather lie. Now, I really didn't want to discuss this video because I didn't really want to give it any more traction that it's already gotten and it's already received. But I want to talk about this because a lot of times, you know, we hear stories and, and we get to running with them and we talk about them and, and, and you know, we give our opinion. But I wanted to say this. I want to come from a different perspective on this story. First of all, when I listen to this story, uh, and I did say something on Friday, excuse me, I did come out and I said something on Friday about, you know, I didn't want to talk about this story because I just feel like, you know, the young woman is 18, so it's nothing against her at all, um, you know, and anything like that. But however, uh, thinking about this story, and I saw a part two where the mother was talking and she was showing these books, you know, of, um, you know, witchcraft and voodoo and saying that she has always dibbled and dabbled pretty much. She might not use those exact words, but she said that she participated in that and, and all growing up, you know, this is how it was for her family in, in the lifestyle that she led before she changed her life around. Okay. Now, first of all, I think that, you know, we, as black people, black people, and I'm not saying all black people, cause I'm black too, but look, we got to stop participating in foolishness, you know, in stupidity. Because when I looked at this video and all of that's going on with this video about the Godfather, and I'm going to say this, debunking the Godfather lie. And the reason why is because number one, first of all, we should not be giving anybody a title and confirming that title when they haven't earned it or deserve it. Okay. And when he, when the mother said that he was saying that the, the, the his wife now who he married when she was younger, uh, uh, under 18, when she, she was a child that he was going around saying that was his goddaughter. So it sounds like to me that the mother is confirming it and she's giving, you know, confirmation to what this man said years ago. Okay. Now, as a woman, there is no reason why she should have confirmed the statement that this man was proclaiming. Okay. Because where is it that he earned this title to be the godfather of this child at the time when she was a child, what godly example was he setting for this child? Now let's go over the definition of Godfather or Godparent, someone who bears witness to a child's christening and later willing to help in their catechesis as well as their lifelong spiritual formation. Okay. Also a man who sponsors the baptism. Okay. Was this child baptized at that time? She was a child. She's a young woman now, but was she baptized and did he sponsor the baptism? Okay. Also makes a profession of faith for the person being baptized, the God child and assumes an obligation to serve as proxies for the parents of the, or if the parents either are unable to or neglect to provide for the religious training of the child in fulfillment of the baptismal promises serves to encourage spiritual growth over time and stands as an example of another adult with maturity in the faith. Okay. Active member of, of the church who has received sacraments of confirmation and communion. So in other words, it is someone that earns the title because they have lived a godly life and they're still living it. They are an active member in the church. They have professed the faith and they are making sure that the child is being provided spiritual training 
and a spiritual upbringing. You know, maybe teaching them to bless their food. Maybe they bought them their first Bible. Maybe they, uh, you know, taught them about communion, baptism, all of this. And unless this man has done any of that stuff, then he has not earned the title to be a godfather of that young lady at the time she was a child. And the mother getting to her, making stupidity statements on social media and just making, uh, you know, accepting foolish, accepting foolish, whatever, just, just foolish. Because when he was running around, as she said, saying that that was his goddaughter, she should have stopped him right there and said, you know what? No. Because number one, he does, he does not earn, he did not earn the title to be a godfather. See, this is real talk because some of this stuff is foolish. And sometimes instead of participating in it and running with stuff, we need to debunk it. And I'm debunking the Godfather lie because he's obviously, no, was not a Godfather. Let me keep it real with you all. And when he was running around saying that, the mother should have stopped that. She should have never accepted that. She shouldn't have even confirmed that. And she should have told him no, because she should have known better. But then, you know what? She's saying that she believe in God, but she's participating in all these spirits and voodoo and witchcraft. And she was showing books. That's not godly. To be participating in witchcraft and all of that stuff. That's not godly. That's not godly principles. God is against that. So guess what? You accept that you, you on here cursing and going off and screaming on social media. You shouldn't have never accepted or confirmed that he was saying that. You should have said, no way, Jose, no way, whatever. No, because you have not earned that title. He didn't earn that title, okay? Did not earn it. So we as women, black women, I'm not saying all black women, but some black women that are out here accepting anything, any type of behavior, anything and running with it and going along with it and then coming on social media and saying well he was saying he was her god that was his goddaughter but he has not earned not one ounce of being the godfather to that young woman when she was a child at all and 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 then you know she talked about that she had had relations with this man sexual relations what godly principles was this man displaying or an example he was setting? None. But yet still, she ran with that story of him saying he was her godfather. Of the young woman now at the time was a child. See, this is debunking the lies debunking the godfather lie because he is not a godfather as a matter of fact um maybe he's the father of grooming the father of inappropriate touching the father of you know i don't want to really start saying things allegedly you know, about this man, because I don't know him, but he is definitely not a godfather and he did not earn that title. Okay. At all. So we should not be running with this nonsense. And the mother, she ought to know better getting on social media, cursing, screaming, talking about what she's doing, you know, all types of just stupidity and nonsense. And I wouldn't have never, ever, if that was my child, went along with some foolishness of a man saying, oh, well, I'm, that's my goddaughter. That's my godson, you know, because it was a goddaughter. But that's, no, you have not. First of all, even if I'm not living right, I know the difference and I would not have proclaimed it. I would have said, no, bro, hold up. Put your brakes on. Put your brakes on. Put your brakes on. 
Because when you are a God parent, you have earned that title because you have lived a life of righteousness, godly principles, setting an example and professing the faith. But she hasn't talked about any of that. She hasn't come out and said he's done any of those things. So how can he really be a real godfather? He is not. And I'm saying he's not. That's in my opinion. He is not based on the real definition of what a godfather or godparent is. Okay? And it's really sad. The only thing I can say right now is an, a young woman that married an older man. And I don't know what he did prior to that or what they were doing prior to them getting married before prior to her turning 18. I don't know. But one thing that I can say is I guarantee you and I doubt for one minute that he was living the life of a godfather, someone that earned the title to be a godfather or a godparent that earned that title. He didn't earn that title. I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure. So, name of this video is Debunking the Godfather Lie. And I stand on that. Because to me, it is foolish for the mother to come out saying all of that stuff. Because what does that say about her if she went along with that nonsense? Sometimes we have to really step back and analyze and evaluate what people are saying. And for her to come out, well, he said that's his God, daughter. Really? But where did he earn the title to be a Godfather? Where did he earn the title? It doesn't sound like he did. Does not sound like that at all. Because another thing, as a Godparent, I'm pretty sure that he was truly her godparent, walking, professing the faith, and doing everything he was supposed to do, living godly life, living by biblical principles. Hmm. He probably wouldn't have married her, right? Hmm. Is that the first we've heard of these things? Unless we just... Those stories just haven't got out there yet. You know what I'm saying? But this is no laughing matter because um, it's just some stupidity, some foolishness. And, and people are talking about him. But what does that say about the mother? See, we got to stop leaving the mothers out of things when they make foolish decisions and, and, and they're participating in foolishness and stupidity. We got to start holding them accountable too. And this mother, she's talking all this stuff. But guess what? She ran with it from the very beginning. Didn't she say, well, he was the one running around calling her his goddaughter, but she proclaimed it. She didn't stop it, did she? Did she say, no, you're not. Hold up. Put your brakes on. Did she do any of that? So guess what? She's just as responsible. I, I can't, people. And I know some people might not agree with me with this video, but guess what? Look it up. Look up the definition. I already knew what it was, but I wanted to give a profound one. But yes, yeah, someone that participates in the spiritual or religious upbringing of the child usually has to do with baptism, a professional faith, someone that's an active member in the church, and they earn that title. And most of the time, it's for the before the child is born, you may select uh, some godparents for your child. You may have some godparents. But guess what? Your parents or your or your parent, they're the ones that were able to see if that title was earned to be placed on someone else because they saw their faith. They saw the maturity of their faith and all those things, and the title is earned. So just somebody calling themselves that, and then another parent running along with that, uh, just, you know, running with that and going along with it. That says a lot about them. So that says a lot about this young woman's mother that's out here, excuse me, running with what she said. You know, it's just so ridiculous, man. I, I mean, like, 
black people, please do better. Women, do better and, and, and take some responsibility and accountability. And I'm not saying all, but in a story like this, in a story like this, the mother has some accountability too because she should have put the brakes on that. When that man was running around saying that was his goddaughter, she should have put the brakes on that then because at some because he has not earned that title to be a godfather or godparent. And like I said, he might be a father of something, but it's not that. You know what I'm saying? It's not godfather, it's not godparent. And, you know, and he may be something else and I, you know, because I, I had to sit back and think about this story. And I, I said, I'm not getting ready to be, you know what? Look, he's just a, look, no, that's, that's so ridiculous. But the mother has some accountability in this whole situation. It's not just him. It's the mother too, you know, and it's really sad. And if that's all that children are a product of their environment. And if they see things, a lot of times they go with it because that's what they're being taught. And that's what they see, you know? And so, um, you know, so I just wanted to bring a different perspective, you all, you know, um, with this whole situation, because it's just so foolish. It's just a fool. It's foolish and it's stupidity, you know, and, um, you know, we have to just start really calling things out for what they really are. You know, um, where are my hoodie? I was outside late and it was kind of cool outside. So I put my hoodie on and so I still have my hoodie on in the house <laughs> anyway. But God bless you all. I uh, hope you had a beautiful weekend. Hope you finish having a beautiful Sunday and uh, be, be blessed. And I do hope that you have a good night's rest and that you have a beautiful Monday. Get a restful night that may God protect you while you slumber and sleep through the night and just be blessed. Wake up refreshed, renewed, you know, to start a new work week or to even start just a new week if you're not working to wake up you know if you have children whatever you're doing to start a new week with your children so may god bless you on this evening and uh i will be talking with you soon peace out